Hey guys, welcome back. On well, this video, we're going to have a look at these Molly Cell P42A lithium ion cells. And we're going to compare these to the standard old Sony VTC6 18650 cells that we've been using in long range FPV for a long time now. And we're going to see if these cells, with their extra weight and greater capacity, are actually going to give us better flight time. I'm going to build out a battery pack and we're going to test it on my standard 4 inch rig and we're going to see which ones last the longest. Okay, so a little bit about the frame we're going to be using to do the testing. It's this frame here. It's a frame from Heyo FPV, and it's a 4-inch long-range FPV frame. It's a dead cat style. So this is one of my favorite FPV frames, even though it's a bit of an older frame by today's standards, but it's just so rock solid in the air. And up until now, I've been using my 18650 cells on this frame. And the cells in the 18650 pack were 3000 Ma and 30C. And that battery pack gave us a flight time of 15 minutes with the 18650 cells. So that's the baseline. That's what we're going to look to try to beat with these Molly Cell P42A cells. So what method am I going to use to build this battery pack? I don't think I'll use my favorite method of welding the terminals on, even though I do like the pop and sizzle of metal being welded to metal. I'm also not going to use my copper braid method. Copper braid is great if you have a high current drain application. For this application, for a battery for a 4 inch long range, I really don't need high current drain. So I'm simply going to take the nickel terminals and I'm just going to solder them onto the terminals of the battery. Okay, so the battery's all done. Let's go flying. Okay, so here we go. I'm not gonna make you sit through the whole flight. We'll, we'll fast forward and we'll skip to the, the middle of the flight and then pause to the end of the flight and we'll see how much flight time we actually get out of this new pack. So we'll start off with a little bit of information. So what you're seeing down the bottom there is of course the flight time. And then on the left, we've got the average cell voltage. So of course, as, as you saw in the build video, it's a, it's a 4S1P pack, but I'm always flying with uh, average cell voltage uh, displayed in the goggles. I'll also put a little bit of information on the, the quad itself, the motors, props, and flight controller. So the motors, as I mentioned before, it's the alias 1603 2800 KV. And for props, I'm using bi-bladed props. So these are the HQ4025 props, and they're bi-bladed props. So if we skip through to about the middle of the flight, you can see we're at 15 minutes here, and we're still sitting on 3.6 volts, which is actually quite good. Now, 15 minutes, this is where the 18650 pack would be, I'll be ready to come in and land. So not doing too bad at all uh, to be at this point and still be 3.6 volts with these Molly cell cells. So here we are at 3.0 volts or 3.1 volts around about there. And we're minutes out from the end of the flight now. And it's not like a lipo battery where you, where you get to that 3.6 volts and you're about to fall off the cliff and crush the battery. With these lithium ion cells, it's it's a more gradual decrease across the whole flight. But of course, once you get to three volts, there is an accelerated decrease in, in the pack voltage. So of course you, you can fly down to 2.5 volts with a lithium ion pack. I like to land somewhere around 2.7 volts. So that's what I'm going to be aiming for here. So 31 minutes and 45 seconds, that's quite a good flight time. I'm, I'm really impressed with that actually. 
and I don't have the post-flight statistics coming up here but at um, at rest it's 2.9 volts average cell voltage so the the cell voltage come up to 2.9 volts after I've landed okay so there we go over 30 minutes flight time that's not bad for a long range uh, the only thing I can say is I was definitely a little bit higher in the throttle and I can definitely feel the extra weight of this uh, this heavier battery pack but overall quite impressed let me know in the comments what you think are you going to build your own battery pack now Chris also also did a video on these batteries about the chemistry of the batteries I'm going to link that as well so until next time happy flying